It's 8.30 and I'm drinking a cold brew. Hey guys, it's Tyra. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally sitting down to film a Q&A for you guys. Y'all don't really know anything about me. Like there's no Q&A on my channel. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna do one. So I told y'all to send me questions on Instagram and then my community tab on YouTube. Any kind of questions, it didn't matter. I've never filmed this late before. It's not even late. I'm sure there's other YouTubers that film at like 3 a.m. But this is late for me. So um, we're here. I'm feeling pretty good. Basically, I'm just going to be going through these questions, answering them truthfully. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And let's just go ahead and get right into the questions. Okay, so we're starting off with the Instagram questions. Someone asked, what is your skincare routine? Hmm. That could be a whole nother video, but I feel like it would be boring because I don't like trying a bunch of new products and I also have prescriptions from a dermatologist, so I just feel like it would be kind of boring. But basically what I use, it is called... I think it's called Specific Beauty. Yeah, Specific Beauty is by... I don't think she's a dermatologist. I don't really know, but it's a black owned business um i've been using it for almost a year now it's really good the line that i have is geared towards correcting dark marks and all of that good stuff it's really geared towards black women so i love it i could go more into detail if you guys are actually interested but i haven't made a skincare video just because i use the same stuff i don't like trying new things and i also have prescription creams and stuff like that so that's my skincare and then i'll often choose like different cleansers um just depending on how i feel so that's pretty much the only thing that i like try new stuff in that area are cleansers next question says what is something you've always wanted to do something i've always <laughs> well to be obvious something i've always wanted to do was youtube but beyond that like from YouTube, I've always wanted to be able to build a connection with other people like in the world, be friends with people like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but like have other YouTube friends, make friends on the internet basically. It's not even like the platform that I'm interested in or the money, it's just like having that connection with other people interested in the same stuff I'm interested in or just people who like my channel you know what i mean that's something i've always wanted to do hence why i have a youtube channel now but um that's a great question like that's deep so the next question says how is love life in college that's actually a really funny question i did have a boyfriend in high school senior year i had a boyfriend but we both kind of knew like um we weren't gonna date while still in college just because i was going so far away and he was still going to be in texas and it wasn't like we were together for so long to where it was just like oh my gosh like i'm in so much love with you like it was fine you know we both wanted to grow we both knew we were about to experience a lot of different things he had football blah 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 blah, blah right so going into college i was kind of smart knew not to have a boyfriend but also going into it, I wasn't looking for a boyfriend. I will say love life in college is real. Don't go your freshman year looking for love. Freshman year is a time where you're just now meeting a bunch of people. You don't know most times like you don't know these guys for real. Just fill them out. They don't know what they want. And you might think you know what you want, but you probably really don't, especially being 18 and 19 years old. <laughs> well, I say that like, <laughs> anyway, I'm in a relationship right now, but I'm going into my junior year and it was just one of those things. I know everyone says this, but it was just like one of those things that was very unexpected. The relationship kind of just built itself. So yes, college love is real, but it's not going to be real if it's forced, if you're trying to be like someone else's relationship like i don't know just kind of be you stay in your own lane don't try to make your relationship like trendy just just live like it'll seriously come your way if i know if everyone doesn't believe in god but like it'll come you know the time will come but yes love life in college is definitely real next question says what are three things you can't leave the house with 
Um, obviously the first is my phone. I feel like I'm so boring. I don't really have any essentials. So it's definitely my phone. I can't leave the house without putting Aquaphor on my lips. Like that's a part of my skincare routine every night and every morning. Skincare. But that's a part of my routine every night and every morning. I don't necessarily take the Aquaphor with me because I use the big, like the huge jar. Like I was thinking about getting the tube of Aquaphor to have on the go. But I guess you could count that as something. Like I can't leave the house without putting it on type thing. And then third... Lately, my new thing has been sunglasses, like, all year. I don't even care if I don't have a charger for real, which is a bad habit. But those are my top three things that I need to do or have before I leave the house. Um, next question says, where is somewhere you've always wanted to go and why? I've always wanted to go to the Maldives. I think that's what it's called, how you pronounce it. But it's just so, so pretty there. Even Bora Bora, like, I've always wanted to go there in terms of, like, island, beachy places. And why? Mainly because I love wearing bikinis. Water is, like, my vibe. But it's so funny because this is getting way off topic. But I'm scared of sharks, but I'm also very, very intrigued by them. Like, I think they're so cool, but I'm also terrified. But I love the beach, and I love the ocean, and the water. It's like so much better than pools, you know? Um, those are like two islandy places I've always wanted to go to, but in terms of like anywhere else, anywhere in Europe, I don't know why. We've like never booked a trip there as a family. So I just kind of figured if I go to Europe, it's probably gonna be on my own time, my own money, or like with friends, or I don't know, maybe even a vacation. <laughs> those are some places I've always wanted to go. For sure next question says what are your go-to hair products so a go-to brand for sure is myel organics a lot of people lately i don't know what the deal was but some people were saying myel is canceled look if i don't know the reason why if i haven't read upon it myself i'm not gonna cancel it that's another thing like cancel culture is so annoying because nobody for real cancels anything but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day and a whole nother topic any type of um the Myel Babas soup. I don't even know if I'm saying this right. Don't even come for me. But that deep conditioner in the pink jar, it's really, really small. It's like $14 for that small little, like, 8-ounce little jar. Or their new line with the green wrapping on it. Wrapping. The green... You know what I'm saying by Myel. I love all of the Her Deep Conditioners. That's one of them. As I Am leave-ins, both of them. The newer line and the old As I Am top leave-ins that I always use and for shampoo and conditioner Maui moisture all the time but I want to make a video on my go-to products anyway so I'm not gonna like tell y'all everything well I mean dang I should answer y'all's question that would be rude of me like those are some top three right there but there's a whole lot more like I could go on for days I just did a wash and go today actually this morning and sis I went back to like a oldie but a goodie product that I haven't used Oh, in a really long time. I usually use my Yale's curling custard, but not today because I just kind of, mm, I don't know. Okay, so the next question says, is psychology a real major? I don't think family would offer it if it were. So yeah, it's a real major. It's actually a really good major because I love how it's so much room for you to take anything else you're interested in. It's a real major. Next. Someone said, what's your dream vacay? Okay, I actually kind of already answered Dream vacay, Maldives, Bora Bora, anywhere in Europe. Mm, Hawaii. I forgot about Hawaii. Who doesn't want to go? I've still never been to Hawaii. Hawaii is like one of my other dream vacay spots for sure. Someone else, what products do you use for your hair? Okay, maybe y'all are really starting to feel my hair. Thank you. That's on the list for a video, but yeah, I use a lot of my a lot of As I Am, Maui Moisture all that stuff so next question says what is your favorite college memory so far favorite college me hmm? favorite college memory so far is definitely it was a party that our sigmas had called juice jam and then pajama juice jam those were both my freshman year so that really just tells you the last time that i genuinely like had so much fun my sophomore year was like a big letdown i don't know what it was but like sophomore year was just it was just okay, you know what I mean? Mm, COVID is like trash. Someone said, where are you going to live after you graduate? Texas or Florida, that's what they said. Um, <laughs> That's a great question. So I grew up in Texas all my life, never lived anywhere else. Like when I graduate, 
I plan to take a gap year anyway before going to medical school for psychiatry. That's what I'm interested in. But obviously I'm keeping an open mind because you never really know. The goal right now is just getting there, right? During that gap year, where am I going to live? Don't know. My mom is always like, just come home. We could just live here. Save money. Yeah. Yeah, that's an option, but I don't really know. I can see myself either still here in Florida. Home is an option, like I said. So Florida, home or maybe Atlanta, but I don't really see myself leaving Tallahassee, like Florida in general, just because I don't really see the point of starting a whole nother lease when I'm not really sure what medical school I'm gonna be getting accepted to, God willing. You know, it just wouldn't make sense to be doing so much moving. So honestly, probably still be here in Tallahassee because it's just gonna be what's convenient and I'll be working. It's looking like here or if I just have to go home because it's easier home you know speaking of that someone asked do you like florida or texas better that's really hard to say because like yeah i'm in florida but i'm in a college town and it's not like what everybody thinks it is like oh beaches everywhere like sunny weather all the time it rains a lot in florida to be specific it rains a lot here in tallahassee and i don't really like that especially as a natural hair girl like the weather here is kind of weird in terms of like everyday life things to do city life obviously texas florida doesn't seem bad it's just like i don't know because i've never lived in any other city here so i don't know i've only lived in dallas and texas but like everybody knows like dallas is the place to be so i love both honestly i would not want to live here forever in tallahassee for sure someone said what is your favorite music artist i used to say like in high school i always used to say my favorite music artist was drake but then I started to realize that maybe I really wasn't a true fan because every time I would say that, people would be like, Oh, well, do you remember such and such song? And I'd just be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't really say, like, I don't have a favorite, but my favorite genre is definitely R&B. I feel like every time my friends get in the car with me, I'm always, like, shuffling or playing an R&B radio station. And I know that they probably get really tired of me. The Apple Music R&B radio really put me on to some more artists in the R&B kind of area. I can't pick one. So Summer Walker, for sure. Her, for sure and lately i've really been getting into kalani i've always um thought her music was good but like now i'm really feeling kalani for some reason nobody likes khalid but i love khalid a lot um i really like his music it's a vibe and there's another girl let me find it alina baraz i like her music too i've always liked black but since i've been dating my boyfriend he black is like one of his favorites being with him like he'll listen to songs by black and i be feeling black too those are like some of my tops but i can't pick one that's really hard girl i don't know how you thought i was about to be able to pick one someone said if you could have one superpower what would it be being able to teleport for sure and i feel like that's such a basic one but like being able to teleport yes please teleport me because i'd be lazy i don't like driving like ever since i had a wreck when i was 16 years old i got ptsd i hate driving i can't stand driving like the four hour drive just to get here from atlanta was not it's not bad i just i can't stand driving and then whenever other people are driving me like I'd be literally in the passenger seat trying to press the brake for them. Like, I just have driving, I don't even want to say anxiety, but I hate driving. Teleport for sure because I just don't want to drive. I really don't. Just a couple more that I see here. What is your school doing to handle COVID-19? They literally email us the fall 2020 reopening plan like every other day. I never open it up. I did get on the town hall whenever they first introduced what it is that they're planning to do for us. Basically, they're going to be giving out masks. Everyone can get masks for free. Yeah, it's free <laughs> from FAMU. You have to wear it everywhere. When it comes to food, everything's gonna be like to go, I think. When it comes to classes, they are making like the freshmen a priority. So all my classes are online. It's none of my concern. I knew that I wasn't gonna have any in person. So 
I guess that's what they're doing. Next question, do you ever regret going to an HBCU? The answer is no. I didn't apply to any PWIs at all. I literally only applied to Prairie View A&M, Alabama A&M, and FAMU, and North Carolina A&T, and Southern. I got into every single one of them. I knew I wanted to go to an HBCU because I went to a high school where it was predominantly white and it was just time for a change. Like you're gonna have all your life to be the minority or whatever. I knew that it was gonna boost my confidence. I knew it was gonna boost my worth ethic. That is why I chose an HBCU and why would I ever regret it? You know what I'm saying? Someone asked, was FAMU your first choice? Also, is FAMU everything you intended it to be? NCAT and FAMU, they were kind of like neck and neck for me, but um, FAMU won. What made me choose FAMU is I wanted to stay more south and it just felt more like home. You know, is FAMU everything I intended it to be? I'm gonna be honest, like going into it, I didn't, I just wasn't expecting like certain things. I was just like going with an open mind and I ended up loving it. I mean, the only thing I guess you could say like I was expecting was kind of what everyone says is it's like a family. Yeah, at the end of the day, it is like we'll always support a fellow Rattler. But also just something that I realized that I guess I never expected. It's like everything is like a competition. I'm not there to be in competition with anybody, but it can kind of seem that way. And another thing is just like everything at FAMU seems like this huge, long, drawn out process. Basically at FAMU, you're going to work hard for whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like they're going to make sure you earn it. That's what I kind of meant by I knew an HBCU would like bring my worth ethic like to the top. Next question says, are you going back to FAMU and what do you want to be in life? Yes, I'm going back to FAMU and what else did you say? What do you want to be in life? I want to be a psychiatrist. And when I say that, it comes with a lot of weight to it, with a lot of weight behind it. There's many, many personal reasons as to why I'm interested in psychiatry. Actually, this is the last question. So it says, how do you deal with college pressure of feeling like you aren't succeeding enough? The problem is why you start to feel that way is because you're looking at everyone else, you're looking at other people in your major, you're seeing where it is that they are, you're seeing that they have internships, they might already be offered jobs, like guaranteed a job after graduation and just things like that. You just have to kind of remember that we're all on our own paths. As long as you know what it is that you want to do and you stick to it, you know, everything you do is to help you get there, you're going to be fine. Also keep in mind, Things take time, everyone is different, everyone's gonna have a different route, and everyone doesn't even have the same goals. So if they wanna do this and you wanna do that, why are you comparing yourself if y'all aren't the same person? Understand setbacks happen as well. That's just something you kind of have to realize. That is pretty much all of the questions. You guys had some really, really good questions. I want to keep doing Q and A's on my channel to stay updated on life in general and what it is that's going on in this crazy world. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for sending in all the questions that you sent. They were really, really good. They were pretty juicy. They were deep life questions. That's awesome because I want you guys to be able to like really get to know me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video.